We're backstage at the 1995 Teen NPC National Bodybuilding Championships, and we're very happy to be speaking with Phil Baroni. Phil, thanks for coming before our cameras this evening. How do you feel about the show? I feel good. I feel I prepared as best I can. Well, you astounded us just a moment ago by saying that this is really your very first uh, national show, but not only that, the fact that you've only prepared for bodybuilding, period, for a period of four months. I mean, that's, that's incredible, and you got in the kind of shape you're in right now. I worked real hard for the four months, so, you know, hopefully I put maybe not enough time in, but enough hard work. Well, you've got great natural proportions. I guess part of that is due to the fact that you were a college rest I mean, a, a high school wrestler, and that you competed, and you must have had to stay in pretty top shape for that as well. Yeah, we were always running and doing a lot of pull-ups and sucking a lot of weight, so we had to stay in a lot of shape doing a lot of calisthenics. But your size that you come in at tonight for a bodybuilder of only four months is truly astounding. Yeah. Uh, that's great. I mean, you know, you're, you're very blessed, and you probably owe a lot to your parents because the genetics you've got have really held you in good stead. I guess so. That's yeah. what it is, the genetics. Well, now, this kind of, uh, well, I mean, the hard work, too, of course, but uh, four months, you know, most people couldn't even begin to scratch the surface of competing in four months. So you're, you're in great shape, and, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. But it also spells very good things for you for the future because with a physique that responds so quickly the way yours does, you're probably going to do uh, great things in competition. I hope so. That's what I'm looking forward to. And was it somebody who spotted you as being a potential champion that uh, believed in what your capabilities were that brings you here tonight? Paul, the owner of Powerhouse Gym in Belmore, I was training there for about two months, and he told me to uh, do a show to Beth Francis. Mm -hmm. So I did that show, and I placed second to Julio, who's here tonight in the light heavy. And it, when I was at the show, they were telling me, why don't you lose like, nine more pounds and go uh, middleweight at the Nationals? So. Here I am. I decided to do it. Well, somebody has a good eye because you obviously are ready for this level of competition and you look great this evening. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, uh, it all must have been a real blur for you because it's happened so fast. I mean, four months ago you hadn't entered a show, and then you've entered two shows and you're in a national show. And it's, uh, what do you think about all this? I'm just taking it step by step. Hopefully, uh, I'll do the best I can here. If the judges like what they say, maybe I could, you know, place in the top five and. I'm just hoping to, you know, be able to do my routine tonight and have some fun out there. Have you been enjoying it so far? It's been fun. The dieting has been tough, and I'm not really used to mm. dieting to be cut, you know, wrestling. We ran just to lose water. Now it's to hold muscle and be bigger and fuller. So it's, like, pretty hard. What's the toughest thing about uh, keeping the water off? Is it the thirst that you feel all the time, or is it the, the desire for carbohydrates? Or The desire for carbs and the thirst. Mm. They're both pretty bad. I, didn't, I carb depleted for like about three days for this show and only sipped water um, the last 48 hours and no water for 24 hours to make the weight. It was really tough, so I only carved up one day. The other show was a lot easier because I was only two weeks tired. Yeah, and I know that the people can't see this because of our black background, but at this competition, we are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we happen to be in the middle of a heat wave. And, folks, uh, it is 95 or 97 degrees out there, so for you going without water during a period like this, it really must be extra difficult in this kind of uh, environment. Yeah, it's, it's real hot out. I can't believe it. I should be at the beach in Long Island, not... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it won't be, long, won't be long before you get back to the beach in Long Island after no, tonight. I can't wait. I'll be there Monday. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'll be there Monday. Well, Phil, we wanted to thank you for speaking with us today. And uh, it really is an astounding feat for, to get to a national level show after only four months' preparation. And uh, you obviously are going to be a man to watch in the future with this kind of potential. Thanks. I appreciate it. I hope yeah. everything works out. Well, we hope you continue in the sport. And uh, backstage with Phil Baroni, this is Carl Morelli at the 1995 NPC Teen National Championships for Video Action.